Okay. All right. Um, I thank you for this opportunity to allow me to make this statement. My name is Molly Smollett and I am 92 years old. I have lived in New Mexico for over 25 years, but I am originally from New York where I was a film editor. I am the proud grandmother of Jesse and his siblings. I felt compelled to come and tell you that the Jesse I know and love does not match up with the media's betrayal of him. And I'm talking to you guys. You haven't done a good job on investigative reporting. I've worked on documentaries. I know what it is. I've gone through the McCarthy period. I marched with Martin Luther King in the March on Washington, and I'm here now. And so you got to do better. I challenge you to do more investigative reporting. Jesse himself, as you've heard from the testimonials, is a very gentle, kind, and generous young man, and his empathy is infinite, which translates in giving of himself. Jesse has always been active in the pressing issues facing our communities, such as HIV, AIDS, voting rights, and other urgent social problems in America. One Christmas, he went to Flint, Michigan to entertain children who were living with lead poisoning from their drinking water. What the media may not know is that Jesse is what I call a justice warrior. He has been active against injustice all his life, as his mother has, who is an incredible rock for her children. And as my son, their father, who sadly passed away from cancer seven years ago, only in his 50s. And I know in my heart that my son, Jesse's father, would have wanted me to come here to tell you who the real Jesse is. I also have fought against injustice forever, and I feel it's in our DNA. I attribute this to being Jewish and the persecution of my ancestors. The Hebrew words to kun olam means to repair the world, and that's what I do, and that's what Jesse does. I will end by saying that Jesse is loved and respected by all who know him. And I ask you, the judge, not to send him to prison. If you do, send me along with him, okay? And I thank you for letting me talk. Thank you so much. And thank you all. It's nice to be in Chicago. Thank you, Kylie. Thank you. So you can help her get back uh, <laughs> with the family? Yeah, thank you so much. They have, they have suffered so much. See. Okay.